Hi, this is Theo from PuckerBlocks.com. Someone asked me whether or not I use reference photos to practice my drawings. Well, actually, I rarely use reference photos. I only use them when I'm creating art tutorials on YouTube because they are more convenient to use. As much as possible, I like to draw from real life. I like to draw from observation, from what I see with my eyes, rather than from a photo that is taken with the cameras. There are two reasons. The first reason is the camera and the camera lens, they are going to create distortion. You may not notice the distortion, but the distortion is going to be there. So what you draw from the photo is not going to be accurate. What you draw from the eye is going to be more accurate. Uh, the other reason is the camera is not as sen sensitive as your eyes especially when it comes to um, objects in shadow areas. So with your eyes, you can see details in the shadows, but the cameras, not so uh, capable. So I'm going to demonstrate to you the distortion that the camera and the camera lens creates. When you are shooting a photo with a smartphone, smartphone usually have wide angle lens. So today I'm using a wide angle lens as well wide angle lens they tend to magnify the distortion now take a look at my palm here and compare the size of my palm to the size of my face both my palm and my face are at the same distance away from the camera lens so they look i would say about the same size now as i move my palm away here you can see that they are still around the same size because they are still at the same distance away from the camera lens now as I move my palm forward, you can see now that my palm is much bigger than my face and this is the distortion that I'm talking about. For wide angle lens, objects that are nearer to the lens, they will appear much bigger compared to objects that are further from the lens. So objects that are much further, they are going to appear to be very very small. Take a look at my other palm right now. It's much smaller compared to this palm. Now, if you were to stand in front of a mirror, go try it. Go stand in front of a mirror and do this. Compare, to the si compare the size of your palm to the size of your face and then stretch your arm forward in front of the mirror and compare again. Now, if I am not wrong, the size of a palm is going to be still quite close to the size of your face. But if you are actually taking a photo of someone this is the distortion so this is not what you see with your eyes this is what the camera sees so um, you may not notice it but there are very subtle distortions in your camera so as much as possible i prefer to draw from real life and that is something to take note of the other thing is the camera is not as good when it comes to um, detecting details in the shadow areas. For example, take a look at the shelf here at the right side of me. So from what I can see, I can see all the objects there. Uh, I can see all the objects that are in the shadow as well. But for the camera, well, I mean, I'm not sure. Okay, all right. There is actually a piece of big rock here somewhere at the shadow. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly, but from what I can see with my eyes, I can see very clearly and it's quite bright. But with the camera, it's not able to capture that rock that well. If you're always drawing from photo reference, you may get the wrong impression of the subject that you're drawing. For example, if you use a smartphone to take pictures of people so that you can draw from photo reference, practice your human figures at home well, if the photo has distortion, for example like this, the, where the palm is larger than the face and you always draw the palms larger than the face, well, you will get the misconception that, hey, the palm is larger than the face. But in real life, it's actually not true. In real life, the palm is around the same size as the face. So that is why I recommend you to draw from real life as much as possible because it is more accurate that way. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will try to answer them. If not, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more drawing tips, techniques, art product reviews. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.